Howdy, how are you doing? So, before you even receive this reading, you need to leave that anxiety at the door. Depression? Don't know her. When it comes to receiving a reading during this time frame, you're just vibing out with me. We're just hanging out, so. Hey girl. Hello my beautiful Cancer, how are you doing? My name is Simply Velka and today I'm going to be doing your weekly general tarot reading, my beautiful Cancer. So if you find any tarot cards that resonate with you in this reading, Cancer, be sure to let me know in the comments below which ones do and how they do because that's how I keep up with y'all through the comments, Cancer. As well, Cancer, I would like to ask for you, if you do find some tarot cards that resonate with you in this weekly general reading, I would like to ask for you, Cancer, to give this video a like and subscribe because it does help out this tarot reading channel a lot, and I am super appreciative of it, Cancer, when you guys take that extra step to support my reading channel in that way. So, finally, before we get into this weekly reading for you, Cancer, I just want to say that when it comes to my weekly tarot readings, that uh, they're just here to give you some perspective, some food for thought, Cancer, because I don't believe tarot cards, tarot readings are here to make a decision in your life, because it's your life to live, Cancer, not mine, not these tarot cards, any of that. So, with all that being said, Cancer, let's get into your weekly tarot reading. Starting out with your objective card for this week, Cancer, we have the Three of Cups. So this is a card of celebration. So really good card to have when it comes to your weekly energy. This is a card of, you know, and you actually have the Three of Cups coming in twice for you this week, Cancer. So, spoiler alert, by the way. Um, but yeah, when you have this as your objective card, this is really a calling uh, cancer to uh, celebrate those that you're closest with really emphasizing on this message um, it really does seem to be honing in on um, trying to shift your mindset overall to some specific outside energy that's outside of you um, you know because the third three cups also can represent a th third party energy so it's really honing in as well cancer of a message for you to start um, this is a good week I would say cancer to really start uh, connecting with people, put yourself out there a little bit, Cancer, uh, because I feel like you'd be pretty happy with the results of it. But let's look at the clarifiers that we have coming in here for your Three of Cups, Cancer. We have coming out for you the Page of Swords, the uh, Justice card coming in, and then the Knight of Pentacles, Cancer. So in this dynamic right here, definitely it seems to be knight of pentacles you also have the knight of pentacles coming in your into your reading as well um so a lot of cards following you but yeah uh going out of your comfort zone uh cancer you know this is the card uh, this is the knight that moves the slowest but it is the card of going out into uncharted territories or at least that's how i like to see it personally uh cancer so with that, you know, you have the Page of Swords, right? This is talking about new communication. Really a good week, uh, Cancer, for you to, again, engage with other people. For some of you guys, you know, when you, you have to read in between the lines when it comes to tarot, Cancer. And in this type of message, for spirit to be so uh, pushy, uh, right? For you guys to be connecting with other sources of energy, for you guys to be uh, going towards other, like, you know, kind of just like spreading spreading yourself out you know a little bit put yourself out there there's clearly something coming into your path that spirit wants you to pay attention to wants you to collide with uh cancer so that's how i always would read this message as anyways because it doesn't usually make sense for spirit to just be so insistent on you guys just out of the blue to uh connect with other things welcoming in new things you specifically speaking right page of swords is a card of like as i said like new communication justice card coming in as well this is the libra card uh no relevance at all just because i'm the libra i like to point it out uh cancer but uh yeah i feel like this is the uh, if you're looking for the for my cancers that are looking for their right next move or being told on uh what it is that they best what, what would be best for their current situation at this time cancer what i'm getting really is that the best thing you can do is inviting new energy into your space really trying your best to uh you know have your social game be as and as, as good as, as as it possibly can be essentially cancer is so yeah let's actually close out your objective row with one final card 
I feel drawn to pull one more card to close this out, Cancer, so bear with me. Well, I guess you guys are getting three more for this. <laughs> so the extra cards that we have for you is the Fool card, the Six of Cups coming in for you guys, and then the Magician card. Yeah, this is how you manifest. This is how you bring something forward to you. There's definitely something on your path, uh, Cancer, that you need to do your best in terms of uh, connecting with. Because I do see some type of offer being made, some type of deal, some type of exchange being made with someone in your current in coming. Some type of, I cannot under, it's because my nose is stuffy out of the blue, Cancer. I don't know why. But it's like making it so hard to just like speak without feeling like you need to suff um, them suffocating. Um, <laughs> but yeah, with this magician card, with this fool card, um, this is an energy of where it's just like getting out of your shell, really pushing you, uh, cancers, to get out of your shell this week um, because that's how you start manifesting something really powerful, right? And I say something being offered to you, some type of exchange happening because of the six of cups coming in here cancer so definitely there's some type of exchange in the works of happening whether this is just a simple conversation whether it's like a job offer right um so you definitely there's some type of tit for tat coming in for you um so really really good cards to have really interesting uh cards to have for your objective because it's definitely probably like one of the more mysterious weeks things up in the air for you cancers out of most of the zodiac signs so now i talked about this before already right i said that you guys had the knight of pentacles prior so we continue on with this energy with this knight of pentacles again this is just a week for getting out of your comfort zone so definitely cancer anticipate this week having certain events happening in your life that kind of just challenge you challenge you in terms of your comfort in terms of communicating challenging your in terms of comfort and just in your environment as well right but let's start pulling some clarification cards for this see if we can get a uh, more specific message for this knight of pentacles for you cancer Well, these two. Okay. All right, Cancer. For y'all, let me get these cards proper for you guys. Uh, let's see here. So, for your clarifiers, Cancer, for your Knight of Pentacles, we have coming in here the King of Swords for you, the Sun card, and then the Seven of Swords with the Three of Wands. Cancer, definitely, you guys, if you, while you're receiving this message, Cancer, you keep on hearing me say, oh, you're getting out of your comfort zone, right? Uh, you know, some of you Cancers might be like, okay, great, but how, 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 where does this look? How does this look, right? Three of Wands, you're definitely going to be getting some sense of direction on where it is that you should go. So let's just continue on with this narrative of where I was saying, like, communicating this week, right, Cancer? Um, maybe if you'll get invited to go out right by like a random friend or randomly you'll get like this idea of just stopping in at like a coffee shop or something this is just one of those examples right there's like definitely going to be some type of breadcrumb for you to uh follow right with this three of wands here it's a sign from spirit saying it's like hey we're trying to we're about we're in the process of something's being set up for you right we're definitely sending in some type of care package right for you to follow so you won't have to be in mystery for too long with that. Now, with this Seven of Swords uh, and this uh, King of Swords, really in this dynamic right here, in this setup right before I even like break these cards apart, Cancer, you really have to get out of your head, dare I say, just with your own sense of self-worth, Cancer. Um, when it comes to communication, you cannot be continuing this energy of feeling as if um, people wouldn't want to engage with you or would rather be communicating with other people, right? I say this message just with the Seven of Swords and the King of Swords being a sense of where it's like I'm seeing someone really in their head the sun card really in their head about positive things working out to cancer you know i don't know some of you guys cancer might have have recently continued being in like i don't want to say continued some of you cancers rather um might have caught yourself being in a pretty pessimistic mood as of lately so you really want to get out of this mindset because especially 
with the energy that's coming towards you, right? Your en energy is always going to match the vibration that you are currently at, uh, Cancer. So if you're at this uh, vibration where you're feeling pretty cynical, um, I mean, not only will you just like have it match that vibration, but at the same time as well, Cancer, um, because it seems to be really relying on you opening up Cancer and you communicating and just allowing new energies in. If you're in your head too much to allow new energies in, then it does, it's, there's no purpose for me to talk about like the things coming for you, um, right, Cancer? So now let's get into your Hermit card. This is the card of self-reflection, right? This is where it is. We have to kind of dive deep with ourselves, right, Cancer? So let's look at the clarifiers coming in here. I already kind of have a suspicion, Cancer, but this is going to start addressing my Cancers and like why it is that they have that Seven of Swords and the like, King of Swords energy of like why it is they have like the reservations. I am going to be honest, it is like a pretty distrustful energy. So I don't know if you've been recently betrayed by a Cancer or recently someone's disappointed you. Um, but I really don't see this being of your uh, benefiting you all that well if you maintain that energy. But let's look at these clarifiers here. Let's see what Spirit has to say. Are we taking? No, we're not taking all these. Don't mind me, Cancer. I'm like take this one and then this one. Okay. Quite a few clarifiers already. Uh, for this. So give me a moment, Cancer, as I set these up. And this is going to be a doozy of a message I can tell with all these cards. So, all right. So the clarifiers that we have for your Hermit card, Cancer, is the Nine of Swords, as well as the High Priestess, with the Three of Wands, the Hermit card following you, the lover's card following you and did i say empress from before empress card and yeah nine of swords so <laughs> quite a jam-packed clarifying message for your hermit card right so definitely a huge lesson for you guys to be paying attention to there's definitely a lot of things spirit wants you to be self-reflecting on cancer that is for sure so give me a moment, Cancer, as I break this down and put these cards out to see, figure out where these puzzle pieces go for this reading. So right off the bat, and this is what I'm noticing, right? Nine of Swords, this is that energy I was talking about before, that Seven of Swords with that King of Swords, uh, really being in your head, really bit of a pessimist, right? High Priestess card is an extremely guarded energy. Um, a Hermit card as well, really guarded. Um, really really guarded cancer <laughs> again i don't know like i don't you know this is just my own personal observation me just wondering but it's just like is this caused by something cancer did something recently happen that's just really had you um kind of i kind of feel like i'm tapping into an energy where it's just like a cancer that's just constantly in fight or flight of a cancer that uh, isn't feeling safe until like they check the locks 10 times and just very much so just, uh, I can just see like a cancer just shaking with constant anxiety. Um, interesting. So when you have this three of wands here with this lovers and this empress card, I'm gonna be honest here, Cancer. It seems to be as if the Spirit's bringing in this message of where it's just like, there's some type of hurdle that you need to overcome, Cancer. And it's something that's like purposely trying to trigger you, purposely trying to get you out of your comfort zone. Something's happening that's purposely trying to shake you in this way. And so it seems to be this constant cycle that's going to happen in your life. I really do get the sense that it's coming in in shapes of a person. Now, Cancer, this doesn't mean that the person that's coming in the lesson with this lesson or this triggering doesn't necessarily even mean this person is meant to be in your life. But there definitely seems to be some type of pattern here, some type of theme going on with the connections in your life that kind of can go into like one specific lesson or roadblock or obstacle, I said before, um, that you need to pay attention to and to kind of lean into and to learn from, because otherwise it's going to repeatedly happen. Um, and I do kind of see this kind of being the, uh, what would directly block you, uh, Cancer, towards with that three of cups from before, right? Towards the, that celebratory energy. Really, like the reason why I'm getting it more now 
cancer as to why Spears trying so hard to get you to just like open up more is because quite literally I see someone that is just so extremely closed off for whatever the reasoning is, right? Again, I'm not trying to downplay whatever that happened to you in the past, Cancer, but I can only tell you as a tarot reader, I see a lot of good happening, but there's certainly no point in talking about this good stuff if you don't open up and allow it to even come forward to you. If you keep yourself blocked off and you refuse to communicate with people, your guard is up, just super distrustful towards anything coming towards you, super convinced that nothing positive is going to work out. I mean, come on now. So we get into this just trustful energy again with the Seven of Swords. A lot of cards following <laughs> you, uh, Cancers. So let's look at this. Let's see what's going on here with the Seven of Swords. Let's see what uh, storyline we get with these clarifiers. So right off the bat, we have the Nine of Cups. We have the Three of Cups coming in the reverse for you. And then we have the Queen of Swords. So definitely a person put you on this guard. Not I want to say a person, but definitely some type of similar situation disappointed you, upset you, put you on guard with this Queen of Swords. This is your reaction. This is, you know, like you only reacted this way in this distrusted way because, or like this on guard way because of like what came to you before wasn't all that pleasant it seems to be like for a lot of you cancers you've been dealing with just like a lot of barrages of bad luck we'll say uh cancer so i really do feel sorry for you guys in that regard because it seems to be such a bummer because it's like yeah i don't know it's just uh, uh i'm trying to think of the best way to i can like try to convince you guys to open up just with the like with the messages that's coming in with the tarot cards and everything cancer because it's like I can understand, like I can understand from your point of view a little bit, the best that I can, right? That you guys are doing some type of response, trigger trauma response um, towards. I don't want to say trauma response. You guys are responding to something from the past, like negatively happening, and you guys are now actively trying to protect your heart now. But really, the only thing that you're doing by trying to protect your heart is kind of blocking off so many things, right? I'm getting the clarifiers now for your Three of Cups, right? This is the other card that I was saying that came in for you before as well. So the clarifiers we have is, as I was showing, was this Four of Swords. So I was saying before, I really do feel like if you spend too much time trying to protect your heart, trying to just be one with your heart, Cancer, really not wanting to offer it to anybody, being too scared to offer it to anybody, I really don't see, like... <sighs> It's just not the energy to have it this week with this three cups here. Like this is kind of like one of those times that you have to kind of put yourself out there, put, wear your heart on your sleeve, kind of put yourself at greater risk of being hurt. But you know, when you think about it, Cancer, you kind of can't avoid being hurt, right? You, the more risk that's involved, the more of a what you could potentially reap back, right? And so you kind of want to think from this thought process. Queen of Wands, Page of Pentacles, and Four of Wands. This is really just a dynamic of where it's just like a um, this new beginning comes once you start uh, celebrating this flame inside of you, once you start celebrating yourself a little bit more, uh, Cancer. Um, especially with this Page of Pentacles, this is when the new start happens. I don't want to say the new start, this is when the forward movement happens into this Four of Wands, that 11-11 portal. This has popped up for a lot of the uh, water signs actually recently, um, Cancer, so really interesting in that way. But uh, yeah, straight up just a message this week, Cancer, for you guys to just be as open as possible. Really, I know it's going to be hard, uh, Cancer, but, you know, do your best not to be as on guard. Uh, Page of Swords. Yeah, all of this is talking about new communication. This is all leading to, like, a bunch of new things. But, you know, when it comes in response, when you see, like, Pages represents new beginnings, right, Cancer? So when uh, the best thing to do in response when you see a bunch of Pages coming into your reading is to make space for those Page energies to come in, right? You cannot have new energies energy coming in until you make space and remove some of that old energy so keep that in mind so cancer that is the cards that i have for you this week if you enjoyed this weekly tarot reading be sure to let me know in the comments below be sure to give this video a like and subscribe cancer as well 
I do all the weekly zodiac signs readings for Cancer, not just Cancers. So if you have a friend that's into tarot, or even if they're not into tarot cards, Cancer, share their share your friend's zodiac sign. One of my videos with your friend, uh, their zodiac sign. My gosh, honey, and maybe they'll find a message that resonates with them. But until next time, Cancer, I love you so much. Bye.